I suppose I have a natural gift for it. Empire Crate! Yeah. <laughs> well, you know who it is. I'm, I'm probably not actually trained, but just down here. Like, I think we did a couple. There you go, mate. Oh, oh. Treat for you. Not seen that one before. Pink what? Uh, pink grapefruit? Rosa. Oh, nice. So, I'm back here with a familiar face, if you've watched the channel before. This guy, Ollie from the GKN. We're down here, we're gonna ping some dingers, film a couple of videos for you. It's a beautiful day, beautiful pitch, beautiful boots in the bag down here. See you in a sec. Do you know about colour coordinate the monster with the outfit? Obviously. Magnifique. So me and Ollie down here, Platte Lane. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna film a little vlog behind the scenes today of this stuff. Bit chit chat on that. We're gonna film a couple of different videos down here. Make some content for both of us. Because collaborations are the key. Whoa, camera nearly went. Let's get on the pitch. Look at this, he had a game last night. He's on the physio. The He's commi stronger. The commitment levels from this man to make content. <laughs> this is why GKN are succeeding. Love it. Hold up, what do we have here? Oh my God, it's like he knows I'm a Chelsea fan. I miss you, Timo, love you. What a pair. How do you get your hands on them, mate? Ah, oh, sneaky there you go. devil. He's trying to one-up me. I've come in my best boots and he's wearing these. Jeez, only for the best. Only you, mate. Be a few outtakes here, by the way. Jesus. A lot. Uh, I've barely got one touch, let alone two. Take one if you want to. Take three if you have to. Boink. That's it. So, we've got a special little one here. Only seen this on TikTok, some goalkeeper stuff. I don't really get. You'll, you'll understand in a sec. <laughs> right. Get in. Go. This might be the only chance I actually have to score any today. Take a few shots, see how many you can save in the Marigolds. Wish me luck, I'll need it. <laughs> Scoring 
as you can see. So he's got Timo Werner's boots on. Can he finish better than him? That's the question. No. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh. get out. Oh. That is a proper Timo Werner. Sorry, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome to a question of sport. We're going to sit down now, answer some questions from the Instagram story that we put up before for me and Ollie. Here we go. First question, this is from Reese. Big up yourself. Long time supporter. Uh, favourite kits for any team this season, home, away, third kit? Over to you. Oh, you've done that because you can't think of one, haven't you? I mean, the only kits I've really looked at are Chelsea kits. Shocker. Uh, although, to be fair, the new PSG home kit is banging. I think yeah. very nice, classy. PSG always has nice kits, don't they? Always. There you go. I can't afford, I'm not on his big money wages, so I can't afford PSG kits. GK and home brand. Exactly. Al Aldi Middle Isle, that's where you find them. There you go. Uh, so, specific question here for Ollie for GKN. What is the difference between the Evolve V1s and V2s? Um, so the main main difference is the cut and the overall build of the glove. Um, previously, we had the Hyler cut, um, but we assessed it, made some changes to the negative cut. So the overall, like I said, the overall build, comfort, and performance of the glove has increased tenfold um, obviously we wouldn't have made the change if it didn't benefit the keepers and the brand um, so yeah v2 in our life and uh selling well love to hear it uh next question came from instagram again uh, will we ever see a non-limited edition release for a boot like the flyknit ultra venoms uh, no i don't think so probably not the reason they do these is to kind of build up hype usually when they're going to drop something new obviously their intention is always to push the kind of retail versions of the main packs that they'll launch, whether it's Nike or Adidas or whatever. The versions that you see most players wear in, like Premier League, week in, week out, they're what they want to sell. Then they release the kind of special edition boots just to like spice up the market a little bit, usually to tease something that's coming out or because they know they can make a load of money, like the Predator remakes, they keep firing them out because they know people pay 300 quid a pop easy. But no, I, I think the ones they've just brought out are definitely a teaser for the new uh, kind of GT Phantom line, whatever they're bringing out. We've seen a couple of pros wearing the kind of blackout samples of them recently. So they're coming out soon, but I don't think we'll ever see kind of the boot that's just been launched now as a standard boot. Another one here for Ollie. Is it hard to run a goalkeeping based business? Yes, in a word. Um, obviously it's quite a niche market that we've got. Um, same as in any, any team, there's only one or two keepers, usually per, per club there's only one spot to play on a Saturday or a Tuesday. Um, so yeah, you know, like I said, the market is really narrowed down for us. Um, however, we sort of build on the fact that, you know, keepers, like, they, they like to look good. If you look good, feel good, play good, that's sort of the, the mantra that we've got. That's why we bring out the kit that we've got, the gloves, the, the training wear, um, all the accessories and, and whatnot. That's what we really focus on. Um, we also focus on, on quality, you know, that's obviously a massive thing for us. If, if, it, if it wasn't quality, we wouldn't put our name to it um, because we only want what's best for the keepers at the end of the day. Um, it does have its challenges and you do um, sort of fight in a saturated market, but hopefully we like to think that, you know, we've, we've got very loyal customers. Uh, they can recognise the quality that we bring and, you know, we as long as we can keep providing the quality, they'll stay with us. Um, and obviously everything we do is for the keepers at the end of the day. Very nice. So this one, uh, I think we can both answer this. What boots would you recommend for goalkeepers? Go on, I'll give you an unbiased one. One thing I'd say, first of all, if you want to hear more about this, go and check out the last video we did together. It's on my channel. It's called uh, The Best Boots for Goalkeepers. You'll see it's got the most views out of anything on the channel. We get the opinions of a few different keepers at one of the GKN sessions down here last time and what they look for. But I would say, basically, for a goalkeeper, for any player, what you want out of your boot is comfort. You want to not think about the boots that are on your feet. You want it to be seamless. You want to enjoy how they look. Like Ollie said before, look good, feel good, play good. That's, I think, across the board for most people. Uh, so just whatever's comfortable, whatever you can afford, whatever you enjoy wearing, that's what you should go for. 
people say, you know, maybe you shouldn't see a goalkeeper wearing superflies or mercurials or whatever, but hey, if you want to wear them, wear them. Yeah. I think don't get sucked into the whole vapors of the wingers, centre backs have to wear copers, you know, tempos for midfielders and, and whatnot. Tiemp you know, the tempos give you a better touch. No, it's, it's about what, what's in the boot, what, you know, you, each boot will have its aids with you. Um, you know, if, it, if it's a more comfortable leather, you might feel a bit comfier in them, might be able to cushion the ball slightly better. Um, but on the other hand, if you've got a, a Mercurial where it's a slightly thinner upper, you might have a better feel on the ball. Um, it's all personal preference. Every, you know, regardless if, if you're a goalkeeper, any any position, whatever you feel comfortable in, like Marcus says, it has to be seamless. It's, it's like you're not wearing boots. Um, if you like boots that are tight for you, um, if you like a bit of room in them, it's all personal preference. Um, there's plenty of boots out there, plenty of brands out there that are going to give you different options on, on what you want. Um, so it's just about trial and error and finding out which one suits you best. It might not necessarily be the same silo every time. Um, for example, I've not worn tempos for years. I used to, I used to swear by them. Um, I'm not a massive fan of, of, the, of the current lines. Um, I'm currently wearing the Phantom Venoms. Um, top boot. Top boot. And I've got a question to follow on with that. Um, but you know, that's, it's all personal preference at the end of the day. Um, my question is, Rank Marcus, Fan and Venom, yeah. Fan and GTs, yeah. and Flyknits. Oh, right. So, personal opinion, just for me, third place out of them three, Fan and GT. I think the GT was a slight step down from the Fan and Venom, personally. I just prefer, I think, the upper and like the striking elements and stuff like that on the Fan and Venom. Uh, they were, a, for me, as soon as I put them on, I knew they were a boot I absolutely love. Still wear them now, the slime green colourway, one of my favourite boots. Um, yeah, so GT will go third. Phantom Venom will go second. I've not worn them in a little bit because I've been testing out new boots. But in terms of out of these three, I think they're a, a 9.5 out of 10 boot for me. Amazing. The only thing for them was uh, when you've worn them a few times, I found the sole plate, especially if you're playing on 4G, a little, little bit thin. I'd start getting some pain in my feet, start getting a couple of blisters, stuff like that. But maybe that's just me. And then top is the new Flyknit Hypervenom Ultras or whatever that I've been wearing recently. I genuinely really think, and I'm, I'm not selling them, so you know this is legit. They are fresh out of the box, the best boot I've ever worn. Again, personal preference to me, fit my big fat wide feet. The sole plate on them is amazing, so the Hypervenom 3 sole plate is amazing. The upper, I've got the worst touch of all time. It makes me a little bit more confident in my touch, so I really can't recommend them more than that. I haven't worn the Flyknits yet, so my opinion is quite void, to be fair. However, I've got a hot take. Ooh. Phantom Venoms are better than CTRs. Woo! Discuss in the comments. Wow, that's big. That's a big claim. I've worn a lot of CTRs. What? I've got Phantom Venoms. I wear them all, all the time. I mean, I could understand why you might think that, especially now, the way the game changes, especially for goalkeepers, I guess, with the game changing quite a bit, having to play well, more with your feet, stuff like that, they might be a bit different, but I will always love my CTRs, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sound. Right, thank you for your questions. That is it. We'll wrap up the video now. See you in a sec. Say it with my chest. Yeah, my back.